Do video tags on YouTube matter anymore? We get asked this all the time, but why stop there? What metadata does count on YouTube? Let's test and find out. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. Tags. Do they matter? What should we put in them? What are they for? Are they still used? We do look at tags a little bit, but not as much as creators think we do. Yeah. What matters the most to us is what matters the most to the audience. And what that is the thumbnail and the, and the title. What is a video tag? Well, you have a title, you have a description. How else could you help categorize your content for maybe a piece of software that wants to place it in a certain area to help people search and find your content? That's where video tags come in, traditionally speaking. YouTube gives you 500 characters worth of space each video to create these video tags. These could be single words or small phrases because there's more than one way to explain to a person what soccer is or iPhone is or Donald Trump. I'll leave that last one to your imagination. And when you spent time doing keyword research on a particular topic and then using all of those phrases in your tags and seeing the video rank for them and getting thousands of views, you feel like you've accomplished something. And then YouTube tells you that tags mean absolutely nothing. Descriptions, like titles, are a valuable piece of information. They help viewers decide if they want to watch your video, but they also let YouTube's algorithms know what your video is all about. This is the video YouTube currently use in their Creator Academy to explain how descriptions, titles, and tags work. It should be noted this video is over three years old now, and it does use a small collection of tags itself. But it does go on to say, Instead of adding tags in the description, add them to the tags field when you upload a video. And while there are lots and lots of theories around tags and how to use them, they're actually quite simple. Just use the words that make the most sense for your video. And YouTube's algorithms will use these, alongside your description and title and other information, to determine when to show your video to viewers. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Just stop there for a second. So what the YouTube Creator Academy is telling us today is that tags help YouTube's algorithm to understand what our content is about. We do look at tags a little bit, but not as much as creators think we do. Yeah. But they also let YouTube's algorithms know what your video is all about. Hang on, now I'm really confused. Now, yes, I will admit through some cheeky video editing, I am having a bit of a joke at YouTube's expense. And what they need to do is simply take this three-year-old video out of the Creator Academy so as not to confuse people because this video which is less than a year old and is from the Creator Insider team, a YouTube channel run by YouTube employees, is now telling us something quite different about video tags. I would strongly encourage everybody to spend, you know, 99% of their metadata time on the thumbnail and title. This is not the only source of information from YouTube either on this new stance on tags. In a recent Q&A session on the Google support forums, a member of the YouTube search and discovery team told all of his video creators to focus on the thumbnail, title and description and don't worry too much about the tags. But you know what? I think we spent enough time trying to work out what the YouTube team wants us to do with video tags. Let's ask the YouTube platform itself what it does with video tags. While YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world, if you put in enough gibberish, it's not going to give you any results. Put in a highly searched term on the other hand, such as vidIQ, and you'll get results from not only our channel, our videos, but all of those video creators who have mentioned vidIQ in their content. So here's the idea I'm proposing to you. Let's create a unique digital tracker and see if YouTube can find it. And the way we're going to do that is through a brand new search term called quivid, 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 quivid. Quidif54321? All right, it is just vidIQ spelt backwards, but I'm always leaving Easter eggs in our content. Only last week I made a video where if you watch the entire thing in reverse, you get a complete recipe for chocolate cake. It really is amazing. But in all seriousness, we needed a unique phrase that only we were going to create on YouTube so that we could track it ourselves. And we weren't just talking about video tags. The full list is over here, but yeah, we want to put this phrase in all sorts of metadata, including titles, descriptions, translated titles, titles, comments, even in channel tags. Yeah, you remember those? Basically, wherever we think YouTube may index a search term, we want to insert it there and see if it appears on YouTube search. No doubt we've probably missed some, so do let us know in the comments below, and we may do a further video where we test those as well. To give YouTube a fair chance of finding Quidiv54321, I inserted it into our channel and onto our videos a month ago and analyzed the results, and this is what I discovered. 
Without doubt, the bulletproof solution to making a phrase appear in a YouTube search is to stick it in your video title. Whenever I changed a title to include a quidiv54321, the video would appear in search within 10 minutes, if not less. It's also important to note that if you remove a phrase from a title, the implications are almost instant as well. That video may no longer appear if someone searches for that keyword. So if a video is getting a lot of views, particularly through search traffic, that does support the time-honoured advice, which is to not tinker with a video that's performing well, especially its title. I should also mention that I tried putting the phrase at the end of a title to see if that would make any difference, but the result was always the same. It instantly appeared in search results. Inserting a phrase into a video description also produced a very similar outcome. Searching for it on YouTube would bring up a result, although it would sometimes take up to 24 hours to appear. Also, something interesting to note here is that while the video is listed as new and has more views than the top result in this search term, a video with the phrase in the video title will take priority in search results over a video with the phrase just used in the video description. I also want to draw your attention to this video too. The reason it appears in search results is because I translated the video title and description into Turkish, but only inserted the phrase quidiv54321 into the Turkish translated description. Yeah, let me just repeat that one for you. Even if you set your language on YouTube to English, when you search for a phrase and YouTube finds that phrase in a translated language, it will show it to an English user of YouTube. I don't even know if I can get my head around that one. All right then, let's get on to one that everybody wants to know about, video tags. They don't show up in search. Now of course, I wasn't going to check this once by putting the tag at the top of a video, or double check it by putting the tag in the middle of a video, or triple check it by putting a tag at the bottom of a video, or, you know, quadruple checking it just to make sure. I had to quintuple check it for my own sanity. But the result was the same every single time. If I put the phrase quidif54321 in the video tags only, that was not enough to make it appear in a YouTube search. Now, of course, this is very interesting and we'll explore this more a little later. But first of all, let's go through the rest of the YouTube metadata and whether or not it appears in search. There are two metadata opportunities when it comes to playlists, the title and the very infrequently used playlist description. And you can filter YouTube searches by playlist type only, but to my surprise, when I inserted quidif54321 into a playlist title or playlist description, no results were ever found. And now onto the channel itself. As keen as I was to test the channel name, I didn't fancy renaming ourselves quidiv54321 for an entire month. But I think we can safely assume that it would appear in search results because when we added the phrase to the very end of the about section of the channel, that was enough to prompt a search result. However, when it comes to channel keywords, which astonishingly you can edit in the new Creator Studio, even though as time of recording other features such as playlists, live streaming and translations are still unavailable, inserting a channel keyword does not make your channel searchable through that keyword. Comments. I thought I would give this one a try, inserting a phrase into one of the comments on a video with little to no expectation. And I was right. Comments do not add to a video's metadata when it comes to YouTube searches. Alright then, I think that's all of our tests done, so now it's time for the disclaimer klaxon. <coughs> I admit that this is not a highly scientific way of testing the YouTube algorithm for how it treats metadata. I'm testing this in a very binary way, an exact search term which you won't find anywhere else and it appears on one channel and maybe a couple of videos. YouTube is usually trying to deal with very common words or very common phrases that can be matched in many different ways across millions if not billions of videos. But I think in isolation this test does reveal some interesting results. The first being that YouTube is always checking the titles and descriptions of videos videos because whenever you change them, they appear in search results almost instantly. And secondly, in isolation, video tags do not seem to affect search results. The fact that I have inserted quidif54321 into five videos on our channel and not a single one of them appears in search for that term is very telling. So I would say, in very basic terms, YouTube appears to be telling the truth when they tell us that tags don't matter as much as they used to. And if that is the case, that leaves me with two questions for YouTube. The first one being, 
Video tags used to be a lot more important, didn't they? Because in your old video, you say this. But they also let YouTube's algorithms know what your video is all about. And if video tags aren't that important anymore, then please tell us exactly what video tags do these days. So sometimes tags can be useful if uh, the content of your video or your channel name is like commonly misspelled. Okay. And we haven't yet made that connection based on people searching for that and finding your video. All right, that's fine. If tags are used solely to establish the correct spelling of words, then please don't put a huge box on the page and give us an excessive 500 characters to play with and call it something other than tags because video creators have been conditioned to think of tags as something far more important over the last decade. Sorry, I went off on a bit of a rant there, but tags have been important to a lot of people for a long time, including ourselves. After all, we have tools that help you put tags into your videos. But you've always got to remember this with tags. It always comes under the wider umbrella of keyword research, and that is still critical. Even if you didn't do any keyword research, you probably have some gut instinct of what your title should be and what might be in the description. And once vidIQ has even a sniff of what you might be trying to say, we'll suggest a hundred more ways to say something similar, a little more specific. And with a click of a button, you can add those tags into your videos and remove all of the effort required from this. And if you look at almost all video creators who create YouTube advice videos, through force of habit, they do the keyword research and they do add those phrases into the video tag section of their videos. And I personally will always maintain this philosophy. If YouTube is going to provide us with a box, I'm going to fill it to the best of my ability because if that gives me even a percentage of an advantage over my competition, it's worth putting in the hard work. With all that being said, here's a massive guide on keyword research. These are all the previous videos we've done on video tags and YouTube, if I'm completely wrong, fair cop, I'll hold up my hands. What do we need to do with tags these days? Simple answer would really help.